spiritual with Andy. Hey guys, I just wanted to pop on here and share something that I've been feeling lately. I feel like lately, um, I had ex been experiencing a lot of confusion about my life, not knowing what direction I wanted to go in, feeling a little bit lost, and I do feel like God's been kind of using circumstances to push me in a particular direction now that I can kind of open my eyes to it and see what's happening, but it comes in the form of feeling like I need to maybe seize the day a little bit more and kind of grab the bull by the horns and this is coming from someone who's so kind of opposed to that theology because I'm used to, I guess, just feeling like, okay, God, I'm waiting for some external source to help me and to show me what I need to do, whether it be, you know, what to do with my future, what to do with my planning, what to do with my art, what to do. And it's just been one big question mark. That's kind of what I've been going through lately in my life. And I feel like God's been speaking to me lately and just saying, you have my spirit within you. You have your brain. I gave you full capacities there. Like you can rely on your own self and your own God consciousness within and me living inside of you, Grammy, stop, to make decisions based off of what you know and think is right. You don't have to filter it through this extra layer of, okay, this is maybe what I want to do, but I'm going to dim that out because God, what do you want? And then I'm confused until God shows me in a tangible way by like an external force or a sign or some sort of thing, as opposed to like my inner, just, I don't have to filter it twice. I can just tap into my knowing and just be like, okay, I want to do this. I want to do that. I think this, I think that, and I can just go for it almost instead of wit waiting around for what's going to happen because it's not necessarily going to like you do have to do something to make your dreams come true all these things and so I think it's all for like the confusion I was experiencing was kind of causing me to ask these type of questions and so God has truly been leading me the whole time so he does still get all the glory, all the credit, everything, but he's just teaching me more to trust in my own inner intuition. Grammy, please, buddy, get down. Gigi. Anyways, he turned on the AC unit. But yeah, so he lives inside of me and I can trust my own pro filtration process in my mind to help me make decisions and trust that he's living in me and I don't have to wait around for him to show me because it leads that's what leads to confusion for me as opposed to just trusting my inner guidance and my thoughts about the situation because God lives in me and just moving forward and planning and taking initiative, not waiting on, okay, am I really supposed to be doing this though? Well, do you want to do it? Then do it. Then trust because I wouldn't even plan. I, and I'd lost, I had a lackluster for life after a while. I've been going through that where I'm like, I don't know what to do. I'm waiting on God. And so then I wouldn't do anything. And then I was depressed. So really it's like, if I'm just going with what I think and trusting my inner intuition, then I'm like, Oh my God. Okay. Let me analyze this. I, I want to do these category of things with my life. Why do I want to do this? Why do I want to do this? Why do I want to do this? What will it take to get there? Okay. I have to plan this because you can't, it's kind of like a canvas, right? A blank canvas. I don't know if you've ever painted before and you've just looked at the blank canvas and gotten overwhelmed. And then you're like, well, maybe I'll just see what happens and I'll just throw some paint on there and kind of go with it and keep adding and go as it happens. That usually ends in disaster. But if you 
plan beforehand, okay, my imagine using my imagination, what do I want to create? Oh my God, I've got this great idea. Okay, cool. What colors do I want? What do I want it to look like? Let me look up some reference points, but based on my own imagination, now let me trace it. Let me draw it out. Let me pick my colors. Now let me start adding. That's going to turn out way freaking better than just slopping some shit on there and hoping it turns out okay, but going off of just chance, right? So this the, that's a perfect example of what God is teaching me. And again, it all comes from within, from your own creativity, but it's trusting that inner guidance as opposed to just kind of waiting to see what happens. Anyways, hope that helps somebody. Have a great day.